How's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Cracking It's Deep. Let's react to this vid by Phantom Call. So, this is in regards to Shannon Sharp. He's under fire uh, for a comment that he recently made saying that uh, this woman had horse hair and people are now calling him anti-black and like they are going in on him, dragging him left and right. So, yeah, I have my thoughts on this, but let's hear what other people are saying about it. Let's check it out. Shannon Sharp is facing backlash for comments seen as anti-black after a heated exchange on social media. It all started when Sharp defended WNBA star Caitlin Clark, drawing criticism for not acknowledging the contributions of black athletes in the league. Mm. Things escalated when he fired back at a Megan Thee Stallion fan using a horsehair insult which many took as a dig at black women who wear hair extensions. The controversy has reignited conversations about Sharp's treatment of black women and his tendency to defend white athletes over black ones. Um. Stay tuned as we break it all down and see the reactions from the people. Okay, that puts things into perspective. Because <laughs> I initially was going to defend him to a certain degree, and I'm still going to state what i feel but having more context puts everything um in a much more clear light because sometimes isolated incidents don't seem that bad but once you have other details um then it, it paints a more clear picture and you're like okay now we get an idea of how you think you know so yeah this kind of changes things it does i i didn't know about any of this I don't watch his sports takes. I don't watch anybody's sports takes. Stephen A, I would be remiss if I didn't say this. A lot of this noise came by people that were sitting on this network. They tried to minimize her. Say, was well, you giving her all this credit, what about the women that came before her? What the women came before her, what they did cannot be taken away. That ain't got nothing to do with Caitlin Clark. But there was a lot of people trying to make sure they keep Caitlin Clark in her place because what you're doing, if you give her all this shine, you minimize what they done. Shannon Sharp definitely does not like black women. Like, how deep into his geriatric bag did Ooh. he have to go to pull out this insult? Horse hair? That's such a 80s insult to it black It is. Women. And that's what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm like, Shannon is, is so old school and he's from a different time. And, you know, like older black men have used that to insult women. And I, I wouldn't think of it as anti-black when I would hear it. It's just like, that's them trying to attack women who have weaves. Like Martin, for example, he always made fun of, of Pam's hair and said that, oh, what horseshoe you got that from? And we ate that shit up and thought it was hilarious. Nobody called him anti-black. So that's what I was thinking. Like, okay, this he comes from that same, you know, time period. So he's just throwing out a random insult and, you know, it, it doesn't have to be malicious. Maybe he didn't mean it that way. But again, having more context, now I'm like, mm, wait. <laughs> now, now I'm like, I don't know. And just the fact that, that is a very old school this insult. woman's profile picture, who, by the way, is a well-known celebrity, and that's clearly not her account. Anyways, the fact that he saw a black woman and was like, fake hair. Like, yeah. that was his immediate insult. I'm that is think true. Of the last time I even heard something. that because again, when you go back to Martin, like he he knew Pam was wearing weed, but you don't know this woman <laughs> who tweeted you, and apparently, yeah, they said that was a Meg profile picture, but he just saw a black woman and was like, okay, that's automatically weave, and it's automatically I'm gonna throw ho horse hair on you. So it's like mm, that does change things. Was like, he's a use country that. <laughs> It's an insult. And the funny part about it is that black women are not the only women who wear wigs and weave the yeah, white girls and the latinas they tracked up to i promise you but that tire belief insult was a very specific insult to insult black women for a very long time so shannon sharp just like this comment says here you're never beating the allegations shannon sharp has not said anything that i don't expect shannon sharp to say i don't mean that in a positive way either he or the internet has branded shannon sharp as the older uncle who smokes and drinks and says things that he shouldn't and has these old Thoughts, school, you know, th th views, th yeah. You just go, ah. 
that is that uncle that has, you know how he get down. That is exactly who Shannon Sharp is to me, and I'm surprised that and y'all are surprised. surprised. I never talked to a white woman like that. There's disrespect to a black woman as well. He said, clearly you don't follow me, but ask around. They'll tell you. Now, Shannon started to feel himself. Wait, who wrote this fucking caption? Because this, this is wild. Academic speaks on Shannon Sharp beefing with the evil Shea Butter Shade Room Ku Klux Keisha's? I've never heard that in my life. What the? Now that's that's anti-black. <laughs> that's a lot. Turn up, Shannon. I'll I've heard it. people call it Shea Butter Twitter, and that's already like mm, I already side eyed that. But this is doing a lot. Did did academics come up with this? I fuck with it. Niggas been playing with your sexuality. Been saying that you staged this and third. Shannon has had it with y'all. The nigga, the nigga of made a couple of M's off of the Cat Williams interview. He's lit as fuck. He's not about to like keep getting bitched around. That's what Skip Bayless did, and he ain't about to get bitched around by no group or cult or black. Group, I can said many anti black um, things for sure. Somebody said everything they said about you was right. He says uh, educated father, brother, son, great friend to some, host of C uh, um, CSS and. I'm cold, some nightcap, and anything after that, I don't give a fuck. Yo, Shannon is talking like big act. Champ, yo, this is how you talk when you write your checks. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. When, when you write your checks, when you own the company that's writing your checks, you talk like this. When you know ESPN can fire your ass, you don't. Now, he does work for ESPN, but clearly his bread and butter, ESPN is probably a visibility thing. His bread and butter is coming from his show. You know what I mean? Club Shay Shay. So Club Shay Shay and Nightcap is bringing, I would imagine, about 80, 70 to eighty percent of the bag for him right now. So he knows, even if he loses the ESPN gig, like he's lit right now. So this is how you talk. And but you know what? People don't like when you know people talk so full of themselves. They like when people are unsure, doubtful. Um, they seem insecure. People like to lift you up, not watch you be up there and kind of talk that shit. Um. Somebody says, yo, you know you def- uh, offended Meg. He says, I'm talking about the girl that tweeted me. Meg didn't tweet me. And then someone's going to later tell her that the person who tweeted you um, has Meg as her profile picture. He said, is that Meg tweeting me? Yes or no? Now, they're assuming that Shannon made that tweet about the horse hair thing, right? Because he saw a black woman. Um, by looking at her profile. If you look at her profile, this is supposedly Meg Thee Stallion, right? This is Meg Thee Stallion. So they're like, if you're dissing this person... Based on this, you're dissing Meg Thee Stallion. You're not dissing um, the actual black woman that might be running the page. You're dissing Meg if you're saying go get some horse hair. Why not even be a black woman? they're saying that's even anti, more even anti-black. Um, what are you saying says, that? So people are saying, yo, you're dissing Meg. They're like, what? I know, what do you mean? Megan Sharp also sparked controversy with a comment aimed at a Megan Thee Stallion fan on X, formerly Twitter. When the fan challenged him, Sharp responded with, don't you have another horse to rob of his hair? Many interpreted this as a derogatory reference to yeah, black we women. Said this. Who were... Sharp defended his stance, claiming he had no issue with what he'd said, but later acknowledged that his behavior was beneath him and stated he would beneath no longer him? engage with negative comments. This incident has stirred up ongoing discussions about how Sharp interacts with black women and his defense of Clark with some accusing him of favoring white athletes over black ones. Now, Uncle Shay Shay, Shannon Sharp, you know you played yourself, right? Mm. So a black woman critiques you and says that she feels like you don't advocate enough for black female athletes, but you continue to advocate for a white female athlete. Mm. And your immediate response is to be anti-black and respond with, don't you have another horse to rob of their hair? Yeah, no. And the fact that you're willing to disrespect what is probably your target audience, black people, black women, because someone gave you a critique, which literally equals your ratings, the people who put money in your mouth is who you decided to disrespect. And see, that's the problem. Y'all want the support of black people, specifically black women, when it's lying in your pocket. Mm. But the minute they say something you don't agree with, all of a sudden, their opinion doesn't matter and you become anti-black. Mm. And what's even crazier is that some of the biggest interviews that launched your career in talk show are literally black women. Monique, Glorilla, mm. Megan Thee Stallion, mm. Amanda Seals. Let's not forget, it was all fun and jokes when you accidentally went live and had your little moment. 
But now you getting beside yourself. Oh. You're wilding out. And then you want to act like the victim? Mm. Uncle Shay Shay, pack it up. Why is everything Preach. rooted in anti-blackness? Why is everything rooted in self-hate? Why is it constantly about the black community and black women specifically? If you guys haven't been over on X, Shannon Sharp was going back and forth with some of the people on there, specifically this one account that, mind you, wasn't even a real account. This was a ghost account that was using Megan the Stallion as its profile picture. He goes back and forth with this person about him constantly capping and protecting and defending white players like Caitlin Clark while being super hard and condescending on players like Lamar Jackson. He then gets upset with this person and says, why are you on my page? Don't you have more horse hair to go rob? Now this is the page. This is a ghost page that is using celebrities as profile pictures that he took and looked at and said, oh, that's a black woman, let me go in on this. I said when I did a video on Shannon Sharp on my YouTube, I said a long time ago, I think that Shannon Sharp is very insecure. And I think he's extremely insecure because sometimes before he gives his critiques, he will say, well, I know people will say that I'm hating or I know that people will say that I'm not qualified or I know that people will say that, you know, I'm not as good as that person. It's like, why are you starting off your critique or your opinion with that? I felt like he had low self-esteem. He's been through a lot, raised by his grandmother. I don't know what mm. the story is about his parents, but clearly there are some issues there because there is no way that you can convince me that someone who's happy with That's their life much. is going to be on social media cutting a fuse every single chance that someone says something about them that they don't like when they've amounted the type of success that Shannon Sharp has had. This dude is uber successful. He is the hottest thing in commentary on any platform. Okay, on YouTube, he got that shit wrapped up. On ESPN, he got that shit wrapped up. He got so many liquor brands, this brand, that brand. And you're telling me you care about motherfuckers saying that you're gay, that you would probably accidentally go live to prove those rumors wrong? Mm. Then you're going back and forth with people on X about an opinion that you get paid to give? Mm. Why do you care? Shannon Sharp is 100% not... I agree with that. I agree with that. You do get paid to give your opinion and you have to accept that people are going to disagree with you. And that's a very valid critique. If they're noticing a pattern and being like, hey, you advocate for these white athletes, why you don't do the same for the black ones? And it's like, if you want to ignore it, cool. Ignore it and just take it as is. People are critiquing you for that. But to come back at them with a, a, a response like that because you saw that they were black, it's like, all right, you're just proofing their point. Beating the Gen X coon allegations because this man is still using black women and horse hair jokes in the year 2024. Like those jokes used to run rampant in the yeah, 90s and 2000s. Did. But first off, they were never that funny. And for you to still be using it in 2024 just shows how out of touch you are. Very out of touch. And then when you add in the context with that, that same, this all him, With that same anti-black ideology, because, listen, if you go back and watch old shows and, like, really peep the, the ideology around that time, it was pretty anti-black. Um, but we have evolved over time. <laughs> You know, we have got more awareness. We have, you know, started to love ourselves as a community more and more as time has, has passed. So, yes, him still using this definitely proves that he still, his mindset is still back. <laughs> back in the old days. Going above and beyond to defend Caitlin Clark, it's just starting to get weird with Shannon Sharp. And I know over the course of the last few years, he's gotten unk status, he keeps it real, and everybody fucks with him. But if he's doing shit like this, I can't vibe with it, I can't support it, mm. I can't fuck with it. And then when you add in the fact that he had that little Instagram live thing to try and prove that he wasn't gay, like, this man is still going through identity crisis, and he's about to be mm. 60 soon. So he can keep it real all he wants, but he is not beating that Gen X coon allegations. Shannon Sharp yeah. recently found himself at the center of controversy 
after making comments about Caitlyn Clark's influence on the... You already said that. Yeah, he is on some bullshit. And I was going to, you know, give my thoughts, not necessarily defend him, but, you know, I was just going to say, you know, maybe he didn't mean it that way. He is old school. He comes from a different time. So, you know, maybe he just using this outdated insult and, you know, there was no malicious intent. But having all of the context, it's like, this does look very sus and it is giving coon. And, you know, I know people will be quick to try to defend Shannon and uh, be like, mm, y'all just mad at everything and da da da, which I find to be so goofy because it's like, everybody's entitled to their fucking opinions. If, if they are peeping some shit that he's saying that they don't like or they feel like is, you know, an issue, they can speak on that and they can critique him. That's freedom of speech on the fucking internet. Just like you are critiquing them, they're critiquing him. Everybody's critiquing everybody when they all could have shut the fuck up. But here we are. <laughs> you giving your opinion just like they're giving their opinion. So I never understand that narrative. People be like, why are they even saying anything? Oh, they always mad on Twitter. They always got something to say. I would argue that sometimes people just be pulling shit out their ass and just complaining just to complain. But there is times where there's some validity in what people are saying. And it's like, mm, this does look, this does look funny. This does, you know, come off a certain type of way, especially if he doesn't have a history of really speaking up for black athletes or black female athletes in particular, but he's doing so for the white ones. That is eyebrow raising and people have a right to critique that and call that out. Like that's, that's what the internet is literally <laughs> made of. That's what it consists of. So I don't see anything wrong with them speaking on this. And yeah, they are providing more context because I, I didn't know about any of this. Um, and I didn't know about the whole profile picture and that it was, you know, Meg the Stallion. <laughs> and it was like a black woman. I was just thinking he was just throwing it out there randomly. He saw a girl and he just said it. But it's like, oh wait. And they zoomed in on the picture and it's like she had kinky hair on top of that, so it, it just looks away. It definitely looks away. He definitely gives coon vibes sometimes, and he's from the South as well, so it's like, and don't chase anybody from the South, but, y you know, a lot of old school people from the South in particular, like, they really had that racist ideology, you know, uh, given our history, you know, with slavery and whatnot. That's where, you know, a lot of the true, like, racism, colorism, <laughs> you know, all that coon shit, it just really originated from there because that's where, you know, a lot of slaves were. So, yes, hmm, very, very sus. He definitely looks away, but y'all let me know what y'all think about all this. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!